Hey y'all, it's Rosie here and I saw that our girl posted a get ready for therapy with me and yeah, I'm just gonna throw my opinion in there whether it's wanted or not. Um, has anyone watched this yet? Maybe? No? I haven't watched it so I don't know what we're in for. I do see a poop bun <laughs> from the thumbnail so who knows what could happen here. But from you know, recent experience, probably not anything too interesting. So let's do it. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. So new video. I <clears throat> have no makeup on right now. I'm a little self-conscious about it, but we're about to change that. So this is a get ready with me chit chat. Um, let's talk about therapy. You'll have to excuse <laughs> so let's me, I'm it. eating yogurt Showered. for lunch. So Got I'm dressed. yogurt mukbang um, right now. Took Twinkie out, did some chores around the house. So, do you guys want to like hear what products I'm using? I don't want to bore anybody, but this is just NYX professional makeup. Just bear with me. Prime, set, refresh. So, you can use this before makeup, after makeup, middle of makeup. She's a moisturizer. Whenever you want makeup. You know what I'm saying? So, this Anyone? is Dewy and Smooth, normal to dry. Fit Me Foundation and 115 Ivory. It is the best. I love it. I've never tried so it. Much. I have such sensitive so skin. I know I say that all the time. My but first therapy appointment out of 12. So I spent the whole. What if she likes the therapist and wants to keep going? Tons of paperwork. I should try to um, For this therapy. Um, I am seeing a psychologist and. She just had a lot of paperwork. <laughs> so I spent the weekend doing that and filling that How out. How much paperwork really could and there have been? I feel like a boomer because like I had to like download papers to my computer and then like sign them electrically. I was so freaking confused, but I figured it out. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like a boomer. I'm not though. I'm a millennial. But millennial. sometimes like Me even too, though girl. like my generation is like the last generation that in their lifetime had no like internet technology and all that and then did we had a computer well, the whole time i was growing up but i still it had like, dial up but just we had because internet. i you know grew up young adult with technology does not mean that i know what i'm doing because I don't know. Like, you don't know what you're doing in technical life. Technical stuff. I get so confused. None of us are under the assumption you know what to do with technology. Okay, so this is about therapy. I'm supposed to have 12 sessions, like su successful therapy sessions, um, before I can get weight loss surgery. I can't get over that so, knockoff bag. Yeah. Um, Why? Sadly, unfortunately, definitely sadly and unfortunately, um... The psychologist does not accept insurance, so since I, when is that an um, issue? If you're gonna pay thirty grand for surgery out of pocket, that. seeing so a I'm psychologist pay, isn't that big of a deal. Um, does she say how much it is? Kind of a lot of money per session, but I think it'll be worth when it. When I used to go to therapy, I, I think it was like hundred and fifty a session. Just died, so you know what? I'm sorry about that. We're gonna embrace the bad lighting. But that light is trash. It dies in every video. <laughs> It's okay. It is what it is. All right. We're about to use some e.l.f. brow lift where I'm just going to take this little brush and I'm going to scoop. Can she do brows? And we're just going to gel up my eyebrows. I am not an eyebrow gal. So, yeah. Um, so, today it's not is. I do mine, but it is what it is. But first, I haven't done mine, though. I keep saying that. Because I'm at home. Um, because that is true. I'm nervous. I do have a lot of experience in therapy because as a foster child you are automatically thrown into that world i had a therapist when i was nine how much therapy has she done and, and she's still this screwed up and from that point on therapy has just been on and off for me and you know as i get older and the more that i do therapy the more that i realize that like i need to take more advantage of it so all the other times were a waste as a young kid i just felt like I what was about when she was caught up in that 
scam in with the, the trenches, online you know therapy what I'm stuff. And I had no idea what I'm doing. I didn't care. I didn't understand. Mm. Obviously, she didn't know like, how to lie. That is that what she's saying? She didn't know how to lie to the therapist, Especially like now, she's gonna do like now. I'm fighting for my life, I need to take my experience more serious and do like the work that you know they give me. I do my not like how they crazy. look. What the heck? I need to like try. Why does it go hand. like straight? Next is I'm just gonna be like, using this elf eyebrow stuff that I've had for years, and it is low key expired, and it's been expired so. Love that. So I do. Whoa. I don't like it. <laughs> My eyebrows look crazy. I might have to like redo them. I'm not gonna lie. So I kind of want to like talk about my therapy as I go along, as I do these sessions. Like maybe talk about like what I've learned, some homework, some goals, whatever it may be. Um, I mean, anything's gotta be better than this. Journey. Because I really do want to be... Are we actually going to learn um, something in this video or no? What's it called? Like transparent, as transparent as I can in this whole... Cap, she's keeping um, so many secrets from us. Wow, why do I look so... <laughs> Don't laugh, I love Wait it. a dang minute, I, I look so bad. Eyebrows aren't for me, kids. They look wow. better than her okay, no so brows short, she normally I don't know has. how much of this rambling I've cut out. I want to document my whole weight loss journey um well most of it like what feels comfortable to me uh because obviously right now what like, color is that the whole story isn't being um told and there's just a little bit that i am keeping from you guys which what is it asking if it's like medical no is it's her health medical. in danger will she die without this the is surgery just, uh, that's what i want to know blush la colors um and the color tainted love so I love me some blush. <laughs> yes, I do. I love it. I just put it across my face like this. Marilyn Manson does the best version of Tainted Love. Just adds a little just bit saying. of like... Just dropping that in there. Flavor, okay? It looks like I got some sun, even though I didn't, so... She needs the sun. Love just go me. sit on the porch. Next, we just have some e.l.f. liquid eyeliner, which this is the reason why everyone's here, right? That is why I'm here. Hold up. <laughs> Doing my Let me eyeliner take notes. is the worst and the part that I hate the most. But so it's the only part you're good at. Makeup before therapy. Show me. I'll cry. I became my BFF Jill. People ask how I do my eyeliner. It's pretty simple. I decide how thick I want her. I decide the length. I decide like. Isn't that what most up, people do? Out. What? Um, I decide that on my first stroke. <laughs> Oh, so the stroke decides. Okay. I see. Here we go. I don't know about you guys. I do my eye makeup first, and then I do the rest of my face. That way I can clean just up Just because that's underneath. what I think I want right now, it, it usually changes nine times out of ten when I try to get them to look similar, because that's the part that I hate the most, is trying to make my eyes look like, you know, sisters, and not like long-lost cousins. No! No. Was that, was she shading Amy Slayton? Was that shade? Alrighty, so that is what that looks like. They look okay, I guess. Now for the best mascara I've ever had, ever used in my whole entire what life. What is it? It is the Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect by Maybelline New York. Oh, I use Maybelline mascara. Not that one, though. It's slaps. I don't know what it's called. It's like the orange mascara slap, bottle. not. So, I'm going to be doing my mascara probably for a hot minute. Mascara and eyeliner. Those are the, you know, most time-consuming makeup areas. Areas. Oh, Rhea, what do you do? Remedies. Being cute. She said, Mommy, you smell like makeup. I don't like it. My appointment's not for another couple hours. And I'm super excited. This is supposed to be like the intake appointment. So um, I don't know if this counts as the first session, but I would like to assume it does because I love rarity just we're throwing side eye into in like the, the nitty gritty of like, life. So I would like to assume that this is going to count. But if it does, why is she worried if it counts or not? If it does, cool. The difference in how my eyes look based on mascara is. 
crazy. Mm. Or mascara is <laughs> not like, like I have no though. eyelashes here, and then put some mascara on, and it's like, oh, I guess I do got some hair there. So I can tell I'm nervous. Look at that baby girl. Gosh, she's so freaking cute. I can tell that I'm nervous <laughs> um, based on like the way. She's nervous um, I can't because she wants plot. to control the narrative. I'm also rambling. So she doesn't want the like, therapist rambles, to get all the details. Has... That would be too much. <sighs> They're just not making sense. <laughs> I've had to edit out so much. Trust that. And I could just tell because my stomach kind of like feels nervous. Do you guys know what that means? Rarity does. She's saying it's okay, mama. You ain't gotta be nervous. You've done this before. I have done this before, but mm. yeah, this has like meaning behind it. I don't, I don't know. She's nervous if she would say something, and they wouldn't do her surgery. Know. I do find like, it strange like, to do these sessions before oh, having surgery, though, because to me, session, having a few before and a few after would be more beneficial. Um. So yeah, I don't know. Can't explain it. Next is Fenty Beauty. This is just like some highlighter. And how many carrots? I have it's like also just had the most random, years. like Probably expired is expired. Dollar Don't general selection, and then it. she's like, "Oh, Fenty Beauty." So I just use my fingers. I put her there. Like I'm a rookie at makeup. I don't. It's know not doing, doing anything. Time, but y'all, um, I don't just, like how she's uh, using her finger for that though. Usually nine times. Do you see a difference? Nine times out of ten, I don't exactly see a difference. I too, so. Okay, so I found a new way. I should say anything because I'm not wearing any. This is Maybelline New York Superstay Ink Crayon in the color Lead the Way. So I'm going to put her right here. Let's see how she does it, y'all. Um, I'm going to outline my lips. Doing a little overline like, there. It really looks good just like that. But... I'm also going to be adding, I have makeup all over my hands. Because you used no. your hand to put on your makeup. Yeah, I love that. That's I'm a no, because you're just getting a whole uh, bunch of the germs and stuff in your face. Color tiramisu. Mm -hmm. So. This has been my favorite makeup combo lately. Why are you rub? No, don't. Totes obsessed. Why did you do that? That's not how you do that. Is that it? That was the end. I didn't even finish my yogurt, y'all. <sighs> well, I have a couple of thoughts. That was boring as fuck. I am happy she finally showed us how to do the eyeliner. But the rest of the makeup tutorial was kind of meh. Like, she didn't even moisturize beforehand. Like, what's happening? Who are you? You probably look cakey as fuck in person. But I don't know. Something about the story is not really adding up for me. Um, I mean, comment below. Like, if it makes total sense to you or if you're from your experience, if that sounds totally normal. Because I know that when I went and had gastric bypass surgery last month, I used a surgeon out of Mexico. So I wasn't required to do any kind of do any kind of therapy or anything like that. Um I can say, though, she would probably benefit from it if I thought she was actually going to be honest in the sessions and then open to what the therapist had to say. Um, but from our experience with our girl in Berlin, she is not going to do that. And secondly, I think having some after sessions would probably be a good thing because everything doesn't just stop when you get the surgery. In fact, I think after you get the surgery, everything is infinitely harder. Okay, you don't want to set your stomach off. You're freaking out. You're like, what can I eat? Then you're spiraling because all you're thinking about is food. And if you're like me and you're a compulsive overeater, constantly thinking about food is going to keep setting you off, right? And so it's just a nasty cycle. And if you're not prepared to deal with it, it's not going to be beneficial. And you're going to have a really rough time of it post-surgery. So I know... I talk to you guys all the time. I go to OA. Um, we're actually starting a small group for those who have had, are planning to have, or just want more information um, about OA and gastric bypass or gastric sleeve. Um, I think it's going to be really, really beneficial. A lot of the people in my group have had it, so it's been nice. And I 
think I've decided on my sponsor. If you've been following me with OA, you know I don't have a sponsor yet because I was kind of just like nervous. But um, yeah, I have a finally kind of today at OA this morning kind of solidified it. Um, I really like her. She's really cool. She had a gastric sleeve like 13 years ago and just kind of talking with her about how the compulsive overeating and having had the surgery kind of go hand in hand and like things to like stumbling blocks she's already had along the way and like things like that and honestly I will tell you guys which y'all know I'm so open about my journey and things that have been going on but I you know Tom's not here so it's just me and um I've been doing really good I've um been writing down everything I eat every day and yesterday I don't I don't know what came over me um I just went and opened the snack drawer which is like Tom's stuff it's like pop tarts and Rice Krispies and whatever else. Chips. And I was just standing there in the kitchen. Just like staring into the drawer. Not necessarily wanting to eat it at that moment. But it was like my brain was just like going on and on. Like do you think it would really hurt if I ate it? Or when will I be able to eat it? And it was so scary to kind of have that moment of like what if I had done that and then I ended up sick or ended up in the hospital having to have my stomach pumped out or something or what if that set off a binge or I mean there's just so many thoughts going through my mind and one of the things I'm really terrified about is once I am able to eat more foods and and like more solid foods what if I give in to those things then and I set all this progress off and I just like, I was so freaked. I was so scared yesterday. And it's so, it's so weird to say out loud, I am scared of food and I'm scared of myself when it comes to food. And all of my thoughts are consumed by food. And like admitting that, like today I said that at the meeting in I don't know. It felt good to say it. Uh, it felt good to hear a couple of other people kind of echo that sentiment. Like, yeah, I'm, I'm tired of being scared of food and having anxiety related to food. And I think I just want to go like 20, 30 minutes without thinking about food. Like, is that too much to ask? You know what I mean? Well, anyway, I feel like our girl is going to have some problems post-surgery, pre-surgery, all the anytime unless she gets those things straightened out but if she's not going to take the therapy serious then what's it even for it's just a waste of money but all right guys i'll see you in the next one